I'm just really interested to see how this Magnus Hoffline goes. Because that's the biggest concern right now yeah. for me as Team Secret. I like well, their lineup. I feel like it's a, it's quite greedy. With Puppy, you know, we mentioned very early on into the draft of game number one, the fact that Nagasaren has been known to run towards mid or off lane and help that hero out a ton with the Riptide. With the early aura, I could see how Shockwave spam would allow you to do a little bit. TK Fobo C is going to go down here, perhaps. Eternal Lamp has to dive in deep. The burn slowly but surely gets the first blood. And he fully buys out stats now. Gets the Ring of Aquila as well as the Magic Wand, so no real fast boots of travel. I'm sure he'll still go for it next. Yeah, he's dead. He denies the regen rune, but it's going to be shackled up. Power shot, and doesn't even have the uh, Shallow Grave to be offered. That's a little awkward. DK Bubble is also going to die here in the top lane, run down by Puppy and Eternal Envy. Like, the, the level disparity between these supports is massive. And DK Phobos... He may just die again. Eternal Envy is going to try and run him down. Ends up getting hit by that Enchant Totem hit. Uh, still, though, FNG does have the Shallow Grave. He's going to have to pop it in the last second. Eternal Envy is dropping lower all the time. He's going to try and commit to the kill and still bounce himself out. DK Bubbles gets a little bit more, but Eternal Levy gets the kill. Now he's blocked in, and he won't be able to get out of this one immediately. He does have a Magic Wand, jumps away as he forced the <laughs> TP. They really thought he was stuck, but Eternal Levy just baits that out. Oh, the bait. And then Paladai just moves in towards mid. Wait, how is actually stopping the rotation back. The easy rotation from G controlling top room. Uh oh, Misery's dead. I'm still going to say Illidan's up. Though. All right. <laughs> give At least give, we have give, a strong like, second place. I, I like Miracle. Oh, yeah. DK Fobos gets the Fisher. Gets the Fisher block. He'll get it on the staircase. Or no, he'll just run down Pilot Eye. He knows there's no real escape for Pi in this direction, so. And Teenage is here as well. Yeah. Four heroes for a little Crystal Maiden. <laughs> Poor Pi. Oh, the, the attack speed slow, but yeah. Frostbite here against an anti-mage I feel is really imperative. Yeah, that being said, there is so much value on the Frostbite. DK Phobos is going to be run down here. The TP in, FNG couldn't get the Shallow Grave out in time. They shrunk across the bot, not going to come to anything. Oh, they're actually going to TP to the bottom lane. This is going to be behind the fight. Lil's going to be caught here by this one. Jump forward, Eternal Envy going to catch God in the process. He's trying to get out. Light Strike Array won't go down in time until a Shallow Grave comes out. He's going to commit to the kill on Pilot Diet. Laguna Blade oh. Dragon Slave just barely clips him, but it's still, a it's just kill. a Crystal Maiden and a triple kill for Eternal Envy, who makes perfect use of that Boots of Travel. It's his blink. I mean, he could if he went Arcane Boots and then... Greaves after me uh, after the blink, but yeah, like the tranquil still is an interesting choice for me. Shackle shot, ensnare, RP, it's all available to shut down Illidan, and he was really the only big threat to Team Secret right now. They've shut down the rest of the enemy team. Ember Spirit coming in from the side. They're going to play aggressively now into this middle lane. Misery's going to be caught once again, silenced up, and he will end up going down. They're keeping this blink dagger at bay. Five heroes here from Eternal Envy. He managed to catch FNG and will be able to kill him nice and quick. Jumps away to his remnant on the side. The song from Puppy. Puppy's trying to catch up to anybody. DK Phobos one step ahead. The sleeping wave doesn't <laughs> quite reach him, and DK Phobos is out. Just a little bit too quick. And hope that G doesn't come and Yule's Laguna Blade him into the ground. That's why he's standing a little bit further back. I was, gonna himself. I was gonna ask, can he survive? But then I saw. That's a level 2 Laguna Blade, so he's dead. And the Ancient Seal. Yeah, just to make, give it that little Chase bit of extra on. power. Oh, slight misses. But Virtus Pro, they really are just trying, scrambling to control these tier 1 towers at mid and top. And you just see them all swarming around, TPing in to try and control. Oh, like that's a lane. pick off. We are. He's just going to be comboed down. God There's doesn't no have a Laguna. mana for Laguna Blade. Oh, and now so, this... Oh, Jesus. This is going to be a three-man RP. If they set this up right, DK Fobos has to hit the Fisher no! for it. No, the RP. Misery's too slow, but oh, Shackle Shot comes out. Still, still latching down to two supports go down. <laughs> Misery whiffing that one. Just throws it a little bit too early. Slide of fist, song, RP. Now they've got the blanket on them. He's jumped on here. They don't have enough damage. Even with the ultimate of Illidan, they haven't brought he Eternal Envy nearly low enough. He's, yeah, he's going to catch Lil. He gets the turnaround kill quite easily. Because you, you really need a second disable to be able to get the fur, fur, uh, full duration of Mystic Flare. Pilot Eye is going to die. Die, die, die. Misery kind of trying to respond. Fisher goes out. They're going to still maybe catch DK Phobos. Gets a chains. 
On to Illidan, they have the two supports sitting on the side. Puffy and Weeha are going to come in from the side. They're going to run right into God, give the immediate shackle shot. He's dead, even before the shallow grave can get there. FNG just runs straight into death, and certainly. RP catches DK Phobos. That's actually a more valuable kill than FNG. They're going to try and lock him down as best as possible with the ensnare and another shackle shot. That'll be quite easy for them. And FNG, he's also going to die. Cleaned up by Eternal Heavy beyond godlike by 21 minutes. They're really on the rampage. Oh, he found shot. them. He's oh silence, but still to double damage with the skewer on top. Lil's not getting away. Maybe he could drop enough damage. Weha may actually die. Dragon Slave actually misses. God's still going to be able to hit the Yule Scepter, but a sleep comes out. And now the team, they don't have RP. They're not going to turn this one. Shackle shot is going to latch these two heroes together. Maybe they will turn this one. They easily get FNG. The Echo Slam gets laid out. God struggling to be able to survive, but he's surrounded by so many heroes. He's so dead. Pilot and I drop in the ultimate, forcing the Animage back. Eternal Levy getting ahead of Illidan as best oh, as possible. Is going to be able to run into him with a Chase? chains in nope. a second. Oh, we missed yes. it. Just barely. And Illidan, and now oh, he's, he's going to try and go for the kill, but no. It's not enough. What? Now he gets it. The right clicks are there. He's trapped inside of the trees. And beyond godlike, Illidan. Is it, it now? It, because it, the push from VP is actually <sighs> aiming towards the tier one. I was going to say, it may, may, may never be needed at this point in time. Eternal Envy, we've silenced up. They can't really turn on to him. In fact, if anything, they're playing way too aggressively. His FNG is going to be caught because of that skewer back. Yule Scepter, maybe they can kill Eternal oh, Envy. Nice Slide dodge. Fist dodge. And now FNG, somehow he's still alive, but he's going to be caught eventually here. Finally, he goes down. Blink is ready for misery. And they're actually oh, forward. Illidan, he's going to be chained up. Instantly manta up with a shackle shot. It does land on the god. Illidan actually bounces himself away from this fight, decide how low Weeha is. Two-man RP, maybe that's exactly why DK Phobos trying to line up for some sort of fissure, but it's just too late. Those heroes are gone, and Illidan is unable to respond with anything there. Already threw out his ultimate. They took away the Aegis of the Windranger, but it just isn't enough. And if you get that kill, you know, you can push out the lane as well. I think that's what you're really looking for, is just trying to no, bridge the gap here because even without a Naga Siren. Oh god, G. Yeah, they're gonna ensnare him up. They don't even have to use the supports to kill him. Eternal Envy will gladly take that gold away from the supports' hands. And uh, hey. Wind Ranger, there's a Dazzle kill as well. Okay, now this is the moment. Now 250 damage a shot. Double damage rune on Eternal Envy. Oh Jesus, DK Phobos. Just one slide of fist almost brings him out. Misery misses the skewer there. Will be brought back. Oh, Jesus! A critical comes out. 1100 damage and pop goes the weasel. Not gonna happen. Turtle Envy? No! The RP, Misery, you. Now, come on. Come on. Are you gonna go for it? Link RP. Link Skewer. There it is. Oh, no, the silence. Oh, no. Nice play from Lil. The good play goes out, but still... Jesus, Weeha just Roger them. pierces the Lena's heart. And Illidan. Not avoid. It's not. It's gonna take him out like a third of his health. Yeah, he's. He's got a lot of mana. Maybe if you can burn through the rest with a couple more right clicks, then pop that ultimate. It's still just not enough. And what? you know it too. Meanwhile, in the what? fight, they're actually taking out both of them. Slide of Fist ends up going down. Illidan's still desperate to be able to get a kill, but Weeha's just running around. Finally, the ultimate to finish him off. That's a godlike spree. Illidan has got a beyond godlike spree as well as a godlike spree. He's gotten so much gold, now Eternal Envy's gonna go. D DK Phobos finds that opening hit by the Skewer. Will end up going down because of that. Illidan, meanwhile, has the haste room, but ensnared up, won't be able to pursue. So the creep wave pushes forward. It clashes in just the right area. They can go for the quick kill on way Oh, there, bye-bye, Lil. Now they jump uh... out, Eternal Envy is shown his face. They don't want to go on Weeha because he still has the Aegis. Now the Echo Slam jump in. Misery almost gets eliminated, but the Glimmer Cape is actually saving. Now DK Fumbles can't get a Fissure to save his life. The RP gets laid out to finish him off, and Suicide goes out, but what does it matter? That's it. You've lost four, Team Secret. Now push forward. What a dominant victory by them. They're going to go Unless... for Lilidin. Illidan now. <laughs> Unless but... Illidan can get a five-man. No, nope, yeah. no, 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 no. Waits for the opportunity for the five-man ulti, but... It's not enough, and that's it. Team Secret. 45,000 US dollars. And VP walk away with 22 and a half grand. You know, not a, not a shabby second price for qualifiers. No, but both of them not. go to China. Both of them go to WCA in China. Man, people are hyping up.